Hey, beautiful people, how are we? It's Kath again. Um, great special day today is my fifth anniversary being at um, this amazing centre. I know, how exciting. Another 15 years I've got to go and watch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you can see I've got a chair here today, guys. I'm doing some <clears throat> another chair class. I'm also going to do a bit of standing up with it as well. So I'm you're gonna have I'm gonna have to leave the room and the space in a second to turn on music because I think it'll be um that I think it'll work unless I put my own. That's it. All right, just pause it for me, thanks. That's my assistant. She's very lovely. I've also got some notes here, so I may have to stop and put my glasses on. Although I wrote it really big, so I wouldn't have to. Now this goes for just over twenty minutes which is perfect, pretty much, and especially if, I don't know about you, but my fitness is not great at the moment. I've got a couple of weeks to get it up. So the motivation is, um, is coming. It's coming, getting better every day, okay? And so if you're feeling like you haven't done a lot lately, don't worry about it. Just get into it now and start with, these slide, with the, the lower um, impact classes. And I'll just stay with you, lower impact. Especially if you're on my aqua ladies, if you go to my aqua class, this sort of exercise is perfect for you, okay? All of our chair exercises are perfect, okay? Or if you're, what do they call seniors? Seniors, the seniors that come to CATS classes or our adult, adult active classes. You can do this sort of stuff, it's awesome. All right, so we're gonna start with a warm up. I'm gonna start next to the chair. All right, ready please, Mr. Music. All right. This is gonna march. <sighs> this is easy enough. Now, if you aren't able to stand up and do this, you can do this in the chair, yeah? I'm just doing it on the outside, make it a little bit different. All right, I want you to take a big breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. Again, breathe in. Fill up your lungs. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. And breathe out. I've had I've got my top on because it's a bit cold. All right. We're marching and we're going to use your arms as well. Good, good. Get those knees up. We're going to do some of the easier stuff that we've done in chair. And we're going to start with the heel dip. So, heels. Ready for the other style, eat your heart out, hey? Now, that's good to keep warm up those legs. How about you warm up your arms? Cross them over. It doesn't matter if you're not doing exactly the same. Not all of us are as skilled dancers like yourself. No, I'm not. <laughs> on your hips first. Lean forward a little. I want you to think about sucking your belly button in, up into your ribs. All right, now your arms can go forward as your legs go back. See? Easy peasy. Now, reach big. There it goes. How nice is the music? It's lovely. Good, good, good. All right, we're going to tuck to the sides. Hands on your hips first. Now, remember, you can still do all these in the chair. Now, how are we going to do our arms? Hang on. We're going to reach out. That's right. Reach. Opposite arm. Ah. Getting the blood flowing. Four, three, two, one. Breathe in. And out. One, two more. Big lungs. All right, we're going to put those three moves together. Start with the heel dip. Whoop. Into the next side. Yes. 
This is the next song we're going to put those all together. It's coming any time. This is a little bit longer, this one. All right, let's start with your knees. Well, how did we outdo the arms? How did I do the arms? Oh my goodness. That's right. Thank you, assistant. Now, you can make this as groovy as you want. I'm not Alicia, not by any chance. All right, tap to the back. Push, stretch, stretch and push. All right, ready for the sides? Go, push and reach, stretch and reach and stretch. All right, heel digs. Seven, eight, press to the back, reach and press. Tap it back. Oh, I'm warming up a bit. <laughs> to the sides, go. Reach. When you reach, you should feel it right along your back, right down your side. All right, one more time, heel digs. Remember, you can do this all on the chair. Tap to the back and reach forward. Pull. Imagine you're pulling down some ropes, yeah? All right, now push to the sides. Eight. All right. March. All right. We're going to do some leg curls. What are we doing here? We're stretching these quads. Now, if you're in the chair, hop up. If you're not sure about your balance, just hold on to the chair. Yeah? And you can do that. We're going to add these onto the rest of it. Five, three, two, one, march. Let's go. Heel digs. Again, have the chair here. If you're not sure, just use the feet. All right, push it back. Again, hold the chair if you need. If you don't need it, big reach. Grab the ropes. All right, to the side. Now, again, you can hold the chair. Reach. You can have one hand on the chair, the other one reaching. Leg curls. Yeah, kick your butt. All right, heel digs. Let's go. Hands on or off the chair. I'm showing you now how you can touch the chair. All right, tap behind and pull those ropes down. Pull and squeeze your shoulder blades. The tighter your shoulder blades, the stronger you're going to be and the taller you're going to be standing up. To the sides, finish it off. Because the next track is a little different. And leg curls. Of course, I, I always over plan, but anyway, I'm warming up now, so I'm going to take my jacket off. All right, this is a shortest track, and this is the one where we're going to do some squatting. Okay, so I want you to try and get up. Take your feet, toes out, nice and wide. You don't have to go down very far. You've got to keep that chest up, the hips out, down and up. Beautiful. Now, if you can't go down very far, it's okay. Just hold it down and come. Hold it down, come. Now, if you can't, if you want to do it with the chair, you can hold on or you can sit. Sit, stand. Okay? You don't have to keep in time with the music, it's okay. Now, it's not a very big squat for me because I'm I'm short, so if I had a lower chair, it would be better. You can take your feet anywhere they are comfortable and make sure your knees are tracking over your toes. Okay, this is a really functional exercise squatting because you have to get up and down on your chair all the time. Okay? But only on the edge of the seat. See how quick that was? That's a really quick track. All right, I'm stretching for this one. You're going to do a little bit of a stretch. Pick it up. We're going to big breath in 
And I want you to stretch up as far as you can. And if you can, just a little back bend, just a little one, as long as it doesn't hurt. And then slowly come down. Now your feet can be as wide as you want them to be. And we're just going to stretch those hamstrings. All right, bring it up again, slow. Breathe in, breathe in, slow, 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 slow. Stretch up and slow bend back. Just a little one. Remember, if this hurts, don't do it. Come down and down to stretch those hamstrings. Now, those legs can be bent. Try and straighten them. If you're only going to there, it doesn't matter. Okay, I've got short legs, so I don't have hard yoga. Okay, now I want you to sit on the edge. Obviously, up nice and tall. Switch on. Remember what I said this before, if you've seen my, my last videos, we put a corset on. Tighten it right up. We're going to stretch that shoulder. It's really important everyone to stretch. It's so important. I've been doing 20 minutes every night before I go to bed, and I'm so less sore. Okay? You don't lose weight stretching. But you've got longevity in your body, and that's what we're all about. We're not about, we're about staying healthy, yeah? So I hope you've all been staying healthy in this unprecedented times. I know I have been trying really hard. But it's been very, it's very hard as these days. are a little bit hard. Okay, what have I got? Okay, so the arms are all... We're still sitting on the chair, lock it off. This music's a little bit faster. So we're gonna put your gloves up and we're gonna have a nice easy box. One, two, one, two. Now, put your tummy in, I want you want your shoulders to move. So if you're not sure if you're doing this, keep it up here and then put the punch in. Okay? The hips aren't moving, just moving your waist. Good. Arms. Now, if you want and you're feeling really fit, really strong, you can put some hand weights in your hand if you've got them. Okay? Now we're going to punch to the sides. But we're going to keep those hips still. Eyes are going to follow where the punch is going. So you're not looking at me now, you're looking at where your punch is going. Keeping your hands up near your face. Three, two, one, punch to the sky. Punch it up. Up to all, abs in. The hardest part about this is keeping those abs in, those shoulders back. Five, four, three, two, one. And we are hooking. Hook it. Hook it around. Oh. Bend back. Get that elbow up. Trying to swing. And see. All right, how about some uppercuts? You slow it down and drop it, drop it and raise it. Now, you can do this standing up too, yeah? If you've done cats combat, same thing. See, now hips, I don't want you to, oh, it's coming down. I want you to be up here. And the same thing goes for the punches. Let's go back to the punches. Straight ahead. Now follow your eyes to the sides. One, two. Follow your eyes. Your hips hardly move. Belly buttoning. Now this is not as hard on the core, this one, because you're standing up. All right, punch to the sky. Can you feel the movement in your shoulders? Yeah. Remember, you can use the weights if you want. You don't have to kill yourself every time you're practicing and train people. All right, let's go with the hooks. Then we have hook, hook. Let's see how my heel comes up a little. That doesn't happen in the chair. But feel your belly button, pull it in still. I want you to concentrate on putting that belly button in. All right, let's do those uppercuts. One, two, one, two, one, two. Beautiful. Keep going. Keep going because we're going to go to the next song. There it is. Let me check my notes. Oh, kicks. We're going to do some kicking. 
Again, you can do this on the chin. Now produce a squeeze. And just squat it off. Squat and kick. Squat. And you can do it without the chair. Hands up here. But if you need the chair for stability, have it there. All right. We're going to kick. Kick. Now just kick lower if you want. We're just moving those legs. Or kick higher if you can. Up tall. And you switch on those abs. All right. Now do it again, squat and kick, squat, kick. Try and keep your body up nice and tall. And the squat is only small, yeah? All right, let's do the normal kicks. Beautiful. You want to work your hamstrings more? That's when you kick high. Now remember, you can do this sitting on the chair with that squat, of course. You can just do the kicks. Three. Two, one, we're gonna do a back kick. How are we gonna do a back kick? We're gonna we're gonna go up, back, in, and down. Up, back, in, down, one more. Alright, other side. So we go up and forward, kick it back, and down. One, two, three, four. Do any of those steps? Now if you've done combat before. This is a slower version of it. Now, other leg. If you want to, you can do it without holding the chair. That is a lot harder, yeah? You gotta switch on that core. Doing a slow kick is a lot harder than doing them fast, yeah? Other stuff. So, I know I need to work on my core a little bit more. So, it's a really good way. Suck those abs in. Try and do it without. One more. All right, we're going to alternate them this time. So start with your right. Up, back. Keep going. I've overplanned. Okay. How good is this for your tummy muscles? Up, back. Next, anyone? Doesn't matter. We're going to go up, back, back in the alternating of kicks. Remember, use the chair. If you can do it without, if they're a bit wobbly, that's okay. You just don't want to do that. Up, back. All right, now we're going to kick it forward, up, slow, and then we're going to kick it back, up, back, other leg. Knee up, kick it forward. See how slow it is? Knee up, kick it back. Other leg. Let's alternate those legs. Front kick, followed by a back kick. You'll feel your back work, yeah? Your hamstrings are working here, and your quad, and your back is working there. All right, let's go slower. Kick it out, bring it back, take it down. Bring it up. Back, bring it in, that's in, and down. One more on the other one. Up slow, back, down. Slow for the back one. And one, you need to do one more on each leg. I'm going to try and do it without holding on. Up, kick, back, abs in, and down. Up. To the back, in and down. Concentrate, guys, you can do it. Up, forward, back, and down. Now, up, kick it back. Ah, uh, yes. Oh my god, we can do it. If I stop talking, you can't each other. One more time, each leg. Remember, hold on any time you need. Switch these abs on. The more you switch them on, the easier it's going to be for you. Stay slow, control. I'm not going to talk with the back here this time, and I'm going to make it even better. Let's go. So 
So remember, with that back kick, you keep the toe pointing to the floor, yeah? You don't kick it out. You go straight back. Okay? Woo! That made your abs work. That made your abs work. Now, you know that if you were doing that, if you wanted to do it sitting down, you just do up nice and slow. That's working your quads big time. All right, what have I got left? These are time flies when you're having fun, isn't it? All right, let's do what we did in the beginning, but on the chair. You can do it standing up. All right, tap behind, so you're gonna tap to the side, to the back of the chair. Push. All right, tap to the side and reach. So you can do everything in the chair. Except for the leg curl, so you can do eight more of these. All right, you want to join me standing up with it? Let's go. We're only doing a couple of rounds. All right, tap to the back. And reach. Pull the rope. Pull the rope. All right, I want you to stretch across. Let's go. Stretch. All right, and leg curl. All right, let's go back to the squats. And up. Yeah? And up. Now, if you're on the chair and you don't want to sit on it, that's fine. I don't want you to sit up. I want you to just tap it. Have that control. Now, when you're just tapping like that and holding that, you're also using your core again. Push through the heels. Four. If you want, remember, hold the back of the chair. Take them a little bit wider this time. Chest up. When you do this one, it works more into your glute, the wide you are. So then when we're wearing that bikinis in summer, you got a perky little butt. Yes, we can all drink. It's all good. But this is to keep your quads nice and tight. Strong. That's what it's all about. Yeah? We're not building the bikini body. We're building a healthy body. Yeah? Because if that was the case, I know that I would have been doing this for 20 years. All right. We're going to do a little bit of the kicks again. Let's go up and back. Two. A little quicker this time, see? One more. We're going to do this leg. Let's go. If you don't want to go this fast, you don't have to. Yeah? Again, challenge yourself. Right, so. And up and back. Other side. And back. Oh, that wasn't too slow, was it? That's in. Oh, right, yeah, you're not too stable now. You'll come cool, you'll get tired. Right, right. I hope you get a bit warm for this. Okay? Alright, let's do a few bit of crunches. Five, six, seven, across. Five, six, seven, up, cut. And crunch the sky. Alright, roll the shoulders. We're going to do a stretch and we're going to have this chair with us. All right, so I'm going to show you how to stretch your quad. Plenty of ways, okay? Standing up without holding. Your knees are together, your hips are forward, and you're pushing forward through your hip. Okay, and plenty of quad. 
you get a stretch. Now, if you have injuries, you have a reason why you can't lift that leg up, just put your leg on the chair and lean forward there. It doesn't, you don't need to have a big stretch. But the more you do this, the more, the more it's going to get easier and easier. I know a lot of you can only do this in the water when you're doing aqua aerobics or whatever. This is the next first step. Okay, so other leg, face hips forward. So this is some of the neck arm um, stretches I do at night time too, yeah? All right, and again, if you can't, you can just use the chair, you put your foot on it, and lean back so you're feeling that. All right, you also feel a little bit in your hip flexor, and your hip flexor get worse all the time because you're walking around and stuff, but it also gets forgotten too. Okay, let's do our hamstrings. Plenty of ways we can do it. First way, just shove up, heel on the floor, and lean forward. You again, you can hold onto the chair if you need, okay? This is a very mild stretch. The next way you can do it is if you want to put it up on the step. All right, only do this if you are stable on your feet, yeah? You don't, want, you don't need to overstretch it all either. Okay, the other leg. So the first way on the floor. And then on the chair, if you want. If you can. You don't have to. The next stretch I'm going to show you, we'll stretch both of them. And if you don't want to do it on the chair, that is fine. So the next stretch I want you to do, we're going to take a big breath in and stretch to the sky like we did before. Breathe in. Stretch to the sky. I want you to pull up and just lean back a little bit. Feel a little, you can feel a little discomfort in your lower back, but if you feel pain, you stop doing it. Okay, as babies, come down. As babies, we can back then amazingly, but as we get older, we stop doing all those little back bends, and that gets tired. It's okay to do a little back extension if there is no pain. Now, you can see here. Take your legs out wider. You don't even have to touch them. If you can't touch the floor, that is fine. Okay? Now, to get up from here without getting giddy, I want you to tuck your chin to your chest and bend your knees. Now, slowly, one vertebrae at a time, breathing in as you come in, and slowly, come up. slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Too easy. All right, now we're going to do a glute stretch standing up. Okay, I'll show you how to get sitting down as well. Put on the knee and just lean back. You'll feel that straight away. Tight hip flexors and tight glutes often um, give you back aches. Okay, so to stretch everything is a brilliant idea. All right, other side. If you can't go further than that and you feel stretched, that's fine. Everyone has different levels of flexibility and the more you stretch, the better you will get at it. If you're in the chair and you don't want to stand up, you just sit on the edge and the same thing. Same thing, you might feel safer doing it here anyway. You just lean forward and feel that straight away, yeah? The side. Thanks for being with me today, guys. It's been good. Go through all the shoulders. Again, I'm still sitting on the edge with my abs in and up nice and tall. And stretch the shoulder. Other side. Remember, any of those exercises, you can put weights in your hands. It's not hard enough for you. Because you know what? You can do this on your rest, rest day. Yeah? Cross it. Come up. I want you to do a big breath. Reach up and go down. One more. And we are done. Guys, I'm going to see you face to face real soon. Please take care. Stay safe. Let's get in this gym really soon. Much love.